In a world where chaos and stress seems to be the norm, slow living can be massively beneficial in helping you to enjoy the pleasures life has to offer. In this video, we look at why slow living has been adopted by so many people around the world, three simple steps to apply the principles in your life, and use the example of one of my favourite creators, Matt Diavella, as a case study of the benefits you can get. Slow living is a movement or lifestyle choice that's actively taken up by many people today to help them reduce the stress and anxiety often associated with the modern world. The idea is to live in alignment with their values and beliefs as done in intentional living and leisurely enjoying the little acts that you do day to day. The whole concept is in alignment with other lifestyle choices, such as minimalism, the aforementioned intentional living and mindfulness, a practice that is used to help cope with anxiety. So, why take up slow living? Well, the ideas of slow living allow you to actually take in life's little pleasures, which in a time where we're constantly seeking out the latest trends, is incredibly valuable and allows you to enjoy experiences that you may not have otherwise thought twice about. It could be something as simple as making coffee, looking at the view from your window, or enjoying time with a loved one, things that can be easy to take for granted. And equally, while you may not wish to take any action at any particular moment, it isn't to say that you aren't productive, as inevitably, we still have responsibilities in our lives. Here's the thing though, by taking your time and enjoying these moments, it's easy to feel more gratitude for the little things, and for your mental health highly beneficial, not least because you ground yourself in the present moment and just take a step back from the stress of life. So let's take a look at how to apply this in three simple steps, with the first being, have some alone time. I cannot stress the importance of spending time alone, as it benefits you in giving you space and equally allows you to spend time with your thoughts. Being a natural introvert myself, time I spend alone is something that I not only value, but is something that I think is of necessity in my life. The thing is, it's not limited to introverts either, rather, all personality types generally benefit from these periods of disconnect. The reason for this is that regardless of who you are, spending time with others consumes energy and can be tiring. Fundamentally, this period alone benefits you in giving you the time to recover, helping you feel a sense of calm. And beyond that, I personally find that being left alone with my thoughts is invaluable time, because I get the opportunity to really consider how those thoughts affect me and whether I need to take some action on the back of them, allowing me to act in congruence with who I want and intend to be. In addition to this, it's valuable to follow the second step, which is, focus on one task at a time. Beyond the subject of this video, Focus is probably one of the most important topics I talk about on this channel in general, not least because of its utility in the modern world, where our attention spans are pretty much lower than ever. However, in this particular context I actually speak about the importance of focusing on the present moment when practicing slow living. As I mentioned earlier, this is actually similar to practicing mindfulness, in which you focus your senses and feelings to your present surroundings. In the case of mindfulness, it grounds you to the present to avoid overstimulating your mind with other thoughts. The same can be said of slow living, by taking your time on a particular action and giving it your full attention, not only can this benefit you in ensuring that you do a particular task to the best of your ability, but equally focuses your mind to that task, meaning you won't be focused on other thoughts. Which leads us to the third step, to declutter your space. The process discussed until now focused heavily on the mental health benefits of slow living, but equally, as with minimalism, decluttering our space physically can equally benefit us mentally. Ultimately, minimalism makes life easier and less stressful, allowing you to be more organised and aligned to what's truly important to you. The same is equally true of slow living, the principles are to give yourself room to breathe in an otherwise hectic world. One of the most effective ways to do this is to declutter your space, applying ideas from minimalism to maximise the effect of slowing down. And this leads me to a video I recently re-watched from Matt Diavella, 
whose channel is famed for minimalism today, and how he's found benefits in slowing down, or at least slowing down in his life after he initially found success on YouTube. If you're interested, his video will be linked in the description. In his share, he discusses how after a video on minimalism blew up on his channel, his work rate to try and maintain that momentum was leading him towards burnout and he came to realise that maintaining the pace he was working at was unsustainable, no matter how much he liked doing it. Fundamentally, by slowing down, he ensured he was caring for his mental and physical health, giving himself space and freedom to allow creativity to flourish without sacrificing productivity which is one of the lesser known benefits of slow living. After all, if you really think about it, it's quite formulaic in approach. If you care for your health, you can perform better. And if you perform better, productivity increases.